Hello everyone, this is Keith Hoover, founder and CEO of Dashpoint Analytics. Uh, today I'm excited to show you a dashboard we built from the request of a number of clients, actually three different clients had uh, different requests, but uh, they all coincided to make a nice uh, unified dashboard uh, card that called the Chart Compliance Dashboard. And it covers uh, your MDS schedule um, and, and tracking when they're due, any you've missed, orphaned, that kind of thing. It tracks your point of care compliance uh, at the touch screens on the units. And it also tracks medications, uh, whether they be late, missed, refused, etc. So uh, it's a really nice dashboard that uh, we find clients check regularly uh, to, to stay on top and make sure they're not missing anything. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and dive in here. One thing I just wanted to point out is uh, you can try out all of our dashboards um, at demo.dashpoint.com analytics.com and um, this is part of our managed service so uh, this would be available to any existing clients as well as new clients that sign up for the uh, managed service and uh, we've put these dashboards out lately it's been uh, we've been averaging a new dashboard every month and uh, we make enhancements over time and you will always have the latest and greatest uh, if you become a client of ours so Anyway, let me go ahead and get in um, here and, and dive into the details. Right now, what you're seeing on the screen is the MDS uh, schedule compliance portion of the uh, charting compliance dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and go full screen here. And uh, what you're looking at here down at the bottom is actually a Gantt chart um, sort of for, for project management. It's taking uh, from your EMR the scheduled MDSs per resident and it's showing you their due dates and it's color coded over here on the right by their status. Okay, So the status is a combination of the status related to the submission status, meaning is it uh, submitted, locked, and uh, accepted, as well as its uh, date status, uh, meaning uh, it's due within its ARD window, uh, or past due and needs to be submitted, um, or upcoming. So uh, you can see this is essentially a timeline and I, it looks about 90 days back and 30 days forward. The dashed line here is telling you the current date um, and you can see your status accordingly. Now, a couple things to note here. Uh, you can see right here this annual uh, OBRA for, for this resident here uh, is opened. It says current, the color code here says current and opened. And you notice the color coding here. The nice thing about this is it also checks your MDS sections to check for completion. So you can see as I hover over it saying it's 11.11% .11 complete. And the incomplete sections remaining are the list below. So you can kind of get a sense for how many uh, sections you got. you still have to complete on that particular MDS. Uh, so if you need to go bother the social worker or, or whatever to complete the different section, you can do that. So uh, up here at the top are a couple of visualizations just to show you your, your overall status. This is the uh, submission status of the MDS, whether it's been accepted, open, uh, needs set up, locked, and or rejected. Um, and then you have the breakdown by payer. You have the breakdown by due date. And then by exception. So what many MDS coordinators look at is this. Now let me just explain some of these. Missed would mean there was a scheduled event for the resident from your EMR. Um, and there is no attached MDS for it. And it is past the ARD date. So this gives you an idea of potentially anything you might have missed. Orphaned would be MDSs that were opened that are not actually attached to a scheduled event. So sometimes what we'll see is uh, the orphaned actually account for some of these missed because they were uh, not properly attached. Uh, then mismatched, uh, depending on the EMR, sometimes you have the ability, somebody on the floor can attach a non-MDS assessment 
to an MDS event and therefore it thinks the event is in compliance when in reality it's not an MDS after all. So we try and show these so that you can uh, see if that has happened um, and, then, and then correct that event accordingly. Um, something that isn't showing here you're also going to see exceptions for rejected uh, and not resubmitted and accepted. Now just to, to clarify you saw there was a rejected here but there isn't a rejected over here. The reason for that is yes there was a rejected MDS but it was resubmitted and corrected and therefore is no longer an exception. That's why it doesn't show up over here. Um, now Depending on the size of your organization, you may want to break it down by location or, or whatever else. Right up here, this hamburger menu up in the top left, you can click that and then you have the ability to, uh, to slice and dice accordingly. So maybe I only want non-completed MDSs. I click that, notice everything below filtered. Uh, I can pick the schedule, maybe I'm only interested in OBRAs. Um, and I can, you know, pick the uh, location or uh, we'll just choose this unit. And notice down below everything filtered. Um, so you have those filters so that if you want to clarify things, you can. Um, and, and that's available on all of these other screens as well. Uh, I'll move on. The assessment schedule is another one. It's a similar to the MDS schedule. It essentially functions the same thing, only it's analyzing any other schedules you may have built in your EMR related to assessments. So like Braden's, um, you know, other quarterly assessments that you might do related to the MDS that uh, are for, for gathering data to complete the MDS. Uh, you can see essentially the same setup that we had on the MDS screen and again it has its own filters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch these all back to all so that we get a better idea. And you can see uh, we have some Medicare A, GG uh, admin events that we need filtered. Any of these can be clicked and the, the, the other visualizations change with it. Um, so touch screen. This is your point of care um, compliance. This would track aids and, and, and other activities that might be happening at the point of care. Uh, it tracks your overall compliance uh, for and essentially this is a, a past three full shift window. So it takes into account both the current shift as well as the last three full shifts. Again, if you are looking only at a certain shift, you can go in here and say, I only want day shift and it's going to filter accordingly. Uh, or maybe like right now it's day and I only want the current shift. I want to see how they're progressing. Uh, I can hit that and it's going to give me the current shifts compliance. Um, and because I'm not complete with the shift, it makes sense that they're not up here closer to 100%. Um, you can then literally click on any of these visuals. I can click on what's missed uh, and it's going to show me each resident and, and what they've missed. So here, Adam Austin, for example, I can click on him and it's going to show I've got two bed mobilities, um, eating, toileting, transfer, etc. These are the uh, incomplete um, touchscreen events that have not happened. So you get the idea. Um, moving on, medications. This one's a big one. Um, this keeps track of any uh, late meds. Um, PRN follow-ups that are not completed, refusals, any other reasons why why a med would have not been given. Uh, the other one that's showing here is, this is a big one, incomplete med. That means uh, a med that was scheduled and you've fallen outside of the admin administration window and yet it still has not been documented on. That is incomplete 
in contrast to the late med, uh, late med means it fell outside of the uh, administration window, but it has been documented on. So um, if I click late med, you can see the color coding here. That's an 8 to 10 a.m. med. And it is uh, essentially also over here going to show me late by how much. Uh, you can see there's 131 that were under an hour overdue, so on and so forth. So maybe we're not too concerned about these. You're more concerned about these, um, that kind of thing. Um, down below, you can see it by resident again. I can right click on any and I can drill through and it will show me that particular residence information. And notice I now have that residence data and I can see every administration, what order it was, when it was scheduled for, what alert it triggered the shift and when it was actually signed off and even who the uh, admitting nurse, I mean the uh, nurse that uh, passed the meds was, if there's any notes related to that administration, so on and so forth. Click the back button, I'm back to the screen, I can move on to the next. Um, now, I uh, we had a lot of requests from clients saying, well this is nice that I can drill through, but really what I want is an overall list. So they, the last uh, tab down here is the med alert details. Uh, this gives an overall list of every uh, medication that's triggering some sort of alert. alert. Scrollable. Um, I can then look down here by unit. It's telling me the, the number triggered for per, per unit and type of alert. Again, I can click on it. It's going to filter accordingly up above or I can click my hamburger menu and filter by any of these, including maybe I'm just concerned that a particular LPN or, or med tech is not uh, carrying their weight. I can just search by that particular med tech and it will filter by the number of alerts that that particular person is triggering. So you get the idea. So this is, um, this is a dashboard that we can uh, set up to refresh on a, you know, every couple hours, or we can set it up as a real time. Um, it, it really, it's up to you. The other thing uh, I wanted to point out is most of these visualizations are exportable. I can hover up here and I can export the data to Excel if I want to uh, do some own, my own analysis on it. But yeah, I, I hope you see the value in this, and uh, please reach out to me at keith at dashpointanalytics.com if you're interested in implementing this at your facility. Also, check out our website at www.dashpointanalytics.com. Stay well. Thank you.